Welcome to this Google Sites screencast where we're taking a look at sharing resources and files. In this screencast, we're specifically going to look at how to embed a Google form on a page of your site. So prior to now, I created a Google form in Google Drive. I created a turn-in form, and this is something my students would fill out if they want to turn a link in to me for a file that's on the web or maybe in Google Drive. So I want to put this form on one of my pages. So let's go over to my site. And I want to make it so that that form is embedded on a page. So when the students go to the page, they just fill out the form right there. So I'm going to put this under my 8th grade new media area that I've been working on. And I'm going to add a new page. And I'm going to call this uh, Turn In Form. I'm just going to have it be a blank web page. And I'm going to have it be under the 8th grade new media area. So I'm going to click Create. And this will create the page and take me also at the same time right into edit mode. So I'm going to place my cursor. And similar to what we've done with other objects, we can go to insert. And there's many different choices in here, one of which is on the bottom of the right column here, spreadsheet form. So if you've made your form in the same account you're working in, uh, when you're clicked on forms here, you can search for the form if you don't see it. I happen to just be working on the form. So here it is, Mr. K's turn in form. I'm going to click that and choose select. Now this is going to be put on the page as a gadget, so these are the settings for that gadget. Um, I don't want a border around it. I don't want a title because it's on the turn in form page, so that title is more than enough. Let's start with these dimensions and see what we get here. Height, 600 pixels. Width, actually I'm going to take out the width. If you take out the width and leave that blank, it'll fill the width of the page. So I'm going to leave that blank so it does that. And here's the form. When I click on the form, I'm going to center it using the little uh, properties bar. And I'm going to click Save. So let's take a look here. So we've got turn in form. Looks good, except we've got this scroll bar within a scroll bar thing going on. I don't like having scrolling within a window. It just creates for the user kind of a sense of what am I really doing if two things are moving at the same time. So let's go back into edit mode for the page. And let's click on the gadget and go into the settings or the properties there for the gadget. So 600 is what it currently is, and that was scrolling a little bit. Let's try 1,000 and see what we get here. If we choose 1,000, it's a little bit bigger than 600. Let's save. And there we go. We are now on the Turn Inform page. It says Turn Inform right here. Here's the, here's the form embedded right on the page. So it looks like this is actually the web page, which is kind of nice. Uh, and you can, so you can see the students can go down, fill this out, hit submit right here from the page. So it creates a nice place for them to turn their stuff in. That is embedding a Google form on a page. Thanks for watching.